Hey, this is Elise from Cycle 9. Today I'm going to go over um, our floor model big dummy with the stoke monkey and show you guys what that all looks like. So this is the big dummy. The big dummy is um, Surly's long tail cargo bike that uh, is a long frame that's built to uh, handle the extra cycle accessories on the back. So the frame itself is uh, one solid frame. It's very stiff and sturdy frame. Um, it comes with a standard build from Surly, and also you can do get the frame itself and do custom builds. Uh, but the standard build is actually pretty nice. Uh, this is our floor model, which uh, we did build up from uh, custom, although we use very similar um, components to what the standard build has. And uh, we also added the uh, Stoke Monkey electric assist to it, which is the big red heart in the middle of the, um, of the frame there. Now the Stoke Monkey is an electric assist kit that was designed specifically for the big dummy and extra cycles. Um, and the reason it was designed specifically for that was just to ensure that cargo biking was its main focus. Uh, and it does fit on some other bikes, but the uh, standard clamps that come with it um, are made for that. So putting it on other bikes requires customization. It has been done, um, but it's not an out of the box solution. Uh, it's made by Clever Chimp out in Portland, Oregon, designed by uh, Todd there, who um, designed it when he was living in San Francisco. So it's definitely able to tackle some very, very steep hills, even with uh, carrying kids and cargo. Now the Stoke Monkey is a pedal assist, electric assist system. So instead of being a hub motor where the motor is mounted in the wheel. Here I'll show you an example of a hub. This is a hub motor. The motor itself is mounted in the center of the wheel and when it's when the power is applied it turns the wheel so it's driving the wheel. Uh, by contrast the Stoke Monkey is not mounted in a wheel and instead of driving the wheel it is actually driving a stoker crank which is a left side crank. So here you can see on the right side is our, our normal, in this case a triple chain, triple chain ring uh, you can also get it with a single chain ring. And on the left side, we have a stoker crank. And a stoker crank is just one single chain ring on the left side. Um, and it has a chain that goes around that, and then around a freewheel on the motor itself here. So when the motor itself is turning forward, it is turning the pedals. So what this means is two things. One is that you always are pedaling when the stoke monkey is on and you can control whether the stoke monkey is on or off um, but essentially it's driving the pedals so you have to also have your feet on the pedals and be turning the cranks when the stoke monkey is on um, and the other nice thing about um, a pedal assist system like this is it can take care of the take advantage of the gearing that's already on your bike um, so if you already have a triple chain ring or a single chain ring, you have a New Vinci hub, you have any kind of hub, um, internal or external, it is uh, taking advantage of that gearing. So if you put it down in a granny gear, the motor can still be turning at an efficient speed, but the bike could be going very slowly. Um, and the, the thing here about this is that the Stoke Monkey is essentially a hub motor, it's just not mounted in a, in a hub, but it's the same type of motor. And all of these motors are more efficient when they're turning at a little bit faster speed. They're not super efficient at low speeds. So if you can keep the motor turning faster, you're going to be in a better efficiency range. Um, and in this case, even if the bike is going very, very slowly, uh, such as if you're going up a very steep hill, uh, the motor can be can be turning at a, a relatively efficient speed and turning your cranks at the, the speed you would be pedaling, your natural cadence speed. Now there's a couple other parts to the system besides the motor, and this is typical of, of this type of system or really any type of system. Uh, you've got the motor itself and whether it operates uh, through the cranks or through the wheel. And then uh, the second part is the controller, and in this case um, the controller is mounted in a burrito bag, as they call it, which is basically just a vinyl bag here that houses the controller to kind of keep it out of the weather and keep everything together a little bit neater. And we've got it mounted here um, just underneath the snap deck. And I will pop the snap deck off so we can look at it more closely. Okay, I've taken the snap deck off and it really just snaps on and off very easily. If you're familiar with Exercycle at all, it's the same system. 
here's the wheel, and now I'm looking straight down at the controller in its burrito bag. And this is basically just a, um, a Velcro bag with four flaps. You open it up, and here's the controller inside. It just sits inside. It does have an on-off switch. It's just a, a black metal box from uh, our standpoint. And then it has the wires coming out of the end here. And these are the wires that go to controlling the motor, go to the battery for the power, and um, go to the throttle so you can actually turn it on and off. Um, there's also, this is uh, the cycle analyst, which we'll look at in a second. So basically the controller is your, your brain. It takes the, uh, takes the signal from the throttle that you tell it, uh, takes power from the battery, and applies it to the motor um, according to the throttle signal. And uh, the burrito bag is nice. Uh, that's a feature of the Stoke Monkey, just because it keeps it all in here, and it, it, it does provide some weather protection. And um, it's basically a really simple bag. Okay, the next important part of the system is the battery. And uh, one nice thing about uh, any extra cycle system, Stoke Monkey, Hub Motor, or anything, um, is that you have this nice inner pocket in the back here, which happens to be a really good size for batteries. So right now I've got um, a battery. It's the same battery that comes with our Easy Electric kit. It's a lithium ion battery, and it just fits snugly in the pocket there. You can pull it out um, and take it out to charge. And one nice thing about uh, the pocket is when, you, when you're mounting a battery, you want it to be um, fairly snug. If I just put it in the outer pocket here, it can kind of swing around, and, and it's not very secure in there. And that can actually damage a battery over time, just sit swinging around and hitting against the frame. So if you have it in a, a nice snug pocket like this, that's the perfect place for a battery. It, it fits really nice and snug in there and uh, doesn't bang around. And it also leaves your extra pocket here for all of your other stuff. Um, so that's the battery. And to run the Stoke Monkey kit, uh, very similar to other kits, is um, a throttle. In this case, it's a thumb throttle here and mount it on the handlebar and when you want the power all you do is press down on that and it will turn the motor on and when you don't want power you just let go and it snaps back to off. So very simple to use. It's variable if you just press a little bit you get a little bit of power. If you press all the way down you get maximum power and then it snaps back to off so you have complete control over when you want the power and when you don't. Uh, the other thing that the Stoke Monkey has and this is also an add-on for pretty much most of our kits is a cycle analyst. And a cycle analyst is a little bike computer that monitors your bike computer stuff, such as how many miles you've, you've gone, how fast you're going. And it also measures um, some characteristics of your electric system, which uh, is important for a couple reasons. One is you like to know how much of your battery you've used, so you can, um, so you know, essentially that's your gas gauge, so you know how much power you have left, how many miles you have left to go. It also has some monitoring characteristics on it, such as it tells you your voltage reading. For instance, this one, this battery is reading 41.1 volts right now, which is uh, pretty well charged, so that's good. And uh, it tells you how many, how many miles you've gone, how much power you've used, what your efficiency is, and kind of all sorts of fun stuff like that. It's like a cycle computer um, for electric bikes. And this one comes with the Stoke Minky kit and also is an add-on for, for, like I say, most of the other kits. So there, it's, I'm pressing on the throttle, the motor is turning, and uh, that second chain is turning the crank. So essentially what that's doing is helping you, assisting you, um, pedal the bike. So you can pedal the bike normally like you would um, without the motor, and uh, you can also use the assist to any degree you want. And so that's the Stoke Monkey in, uh, in a nutshell.